Good morning, CCS. This is Lily, and it's time for our morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Today is Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Lunch today is scheduled to be school-made cheese pizza, garden salad, celery sticks, assorted, assorted fruit, and low-fat milk. And now to Olivia for the weather and the joke. The temperature outside is currently 32 degrees, and the high today will be 52 degrees. It will be sunny today. Recess will be outdoors. Our joke today is, what do cats eat for breakfast? What do cats, cats eat for breakfast? Answer, Mice Krispies. And now to Lily for the quote of the week. This week's quote is, You are not judged by the height you have risen, but from the depth you have climbed, by Frederick Douglass. This quote means that the work you put in to get somewhere is more valuable than where you go. This quote embodies pers perseverance, because in order to go anywhere, you're going to face challenges, and life is all about how you respond and deal with those challenges. And now to Carolina for the fact of the day. Today's fact is, the Four Corners is the only spot in the U.S. where you can stand in four states at once. Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. Yesterday's trivia question was, what is the loudest animal on Earth? Answer, the sperm whale. Today's trivia question is, which two countries have not missed any of the modern, modern day Olympics? Answer, Greece and Australia. And now to Lily for the birthdays and our Region 1 sports report and roundup. On Sunday, November 5th, we have one birthday in our school. Happy birthday to Henry Herman Votto in first grade. Region 1 sports. This week in regional middle school sports, the Region 1 girls soccer team won their game on Monday against IMS. Region 1 boys soccer team tied their game against IMS on Monday. Yesterday, the boys soccer team won their last game of the season against Kent. Congratulations to all of our athletes for a great fall season. And now to Nathan for the interview. Today we are interviewing Ms. Trevezzi, our school secretary. Good morning, Ms. Trevezzi. Good morning, morning Nate. I'm well. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for letting us interview you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, our first question is, how long have you been working at CCS? 25 years. Okay. What is one of your fondest memories at CCS? Okay, let's see, there are a lot of them, but I think I'm going to go with, I coached the girls' basketball team years ago with my sister, Mrs. Burdick, and it was the last game of the season, and let's see, we were playing Salisbury, and they were in second place when we were in first place, and it, it, was, it, it was down to the wire, um, there were, the gym was packed. I have never seen the gym packed like that before. It's a stage, both sides, every, everywhere. There are people. And it wasn't just parents, it was children, it was teachers, it was the community. Um, the girls were really nervous, but they played a wonderful game, they won, and we went undefeated for the second time that we were coaching. So, and then I talk about this because now it's a little sad because we don't have a Cornwall team anymore. Um, but what we do have now is an excellent play that this school is known for. So that's very cool. What do you like about the Cornwall area? Cornwall area. Uh, the people. Um, it also reminds me of a town that I grew up in. I grew up in Woodbury, Connecticut. And it was a small town at the time when I was growing up, just like here. We used to ride our bikes all over the place. Um, I worked out in a local ice cream shop. We had a small ski area that was called Tapawingo, and then it turned to Woodbury Ski and Rack, where my parents would drop me off first thing in the morning, and we'd ski all day, just like you guys probably, because you're lucky you have more. 
So, um, yeah, that's why I like Cornwall. The people, the kids, um, it's beautiful country here, and it reminds me of my home, where I grew up. Nice. What do you like about your job here? What do I like about my job here? I, like, I love my job. I love everything. Most of all, I love it because of all, all, all of you children here. <laughs> um, I'd love to see you grow up. Like when you first come into the school as kindergarten and first grade and second, third, fourth grade, it gets a little different. You come around my desk to the side because I can see you. My, my desktop is so high that you guys have to come to the side. And then I know you're getting older because you don't come around to the side anymore and you come to, and look at me straight over the desktop. So it's fun. I love to see you guys grow up and become wonderful, wonderful adults. And I love to hear what you're doing after you leave here. So that's the fun part for me. What did you want to be growing up? Huh? Well, let's see, sometimes things change, but what I wanted to be originally, I was going to be a gymnast, and then I thought I wanted to be a PE teacher. So, that's it. <laughs> Where was your favorite vacation spot? Oh my gosh. That's a tough one. Um, we traveled quite a bit. Um, I love Greece, I love Egypt, I love Israel, I love Turkey, um, I love um, I love going to Florida because it's an easy trip. Um, we love to go to Miami Beach, we love Jupiter Island. Uh, I, I, I love all the places I go because you get to learn about the way things are done and people you meet and just adventures, making adventures. What is your favorite book or movie? Okay, my favorite book, um, um, I like Harvey Pennock's Little Red Book. It's all about golf. Um, I like Becoming by uh, Michelle Obama. Uh, I like the last one I read was just a fun book, and it was called The Loveliest Chocolate Shop in Paris. And the best part was they gave you recipes at the end of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate recipes. <laughs> What is a hobby or activity you enjoy doing? Hmm, I like doing a lot. I like riding my Peloton bike every night. I like walking and running on the track. I don't like walking on the road, so I find a track to go to. Um, I love basketball, um, but right now my favorite is golf. I love to golf. I'm a golf addict now. <laughs> Finally, what's a fun fact about yourself? Mm. Fun fact about myself. Well, I like golf so much that I will play in the cold weather um, and I put foot warmers in my shoes. <laughs> or when we were in Egypt, I remember, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to lose my life. I rode a camel and those camels, they, they kneel down so you can get up on them and they were spitting away and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm <laughs> this is not a good thing. But we did it and I got on my camel and it just took off like a rocket. And I thought I was, my feet were never going to touch the ground again. <laughs> but we survived and it was fun. And it was a fun adventure. <laughs> Thank you for letting us interview you. Oh, you're welcome. Now to Lily for the community commitments. It is time to say our community commitments to remind ourselves how to be contributing members of a society in a positive way. Please repeat after me. Today at CCS. Today at CCS. I will do my best to be my best. I will, I will do, do my best to be my best. I will listen. I will listen. I will follow directions. I will follow directions. I will be honest. I will be honest. I will respect the rights of others. I will respect the rights of others. I will remember that my choices affect me and those around me. I will remember that my choices affect me and those around me. Today matters and my future is built one day at a time. Today matters and my future is built one day at a time. Those are all the announcements for today. Remember to have a respectful, safe, and fun day. Bye!